Hi everybody. In the break of the day, Armirai and Castrillo proved the strongest, yet they didn't stand a chance against Red Bull Bora. Against my expectations, given Roglic's supposed back pain, they controlled all day for Roglic to take the win on the first mountain top finish of this Vuelta, just ahead of Van Eertveld. Mas and Van Eertveld were the only ones to stick to Roglic's wheel throughout the finish climb, while Almeida, Gal, Riquitello and Landa managed to claw back, not to lose time on GC. Here's the resulting GC going into stage 5, with 10 riders remaining within one minute of each other. Kuss loses 28 seconds to Roglic on the stage, at Ineos Carlos Rodriguez loses 51 seconds and Aresman a massive 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Carapaz and Yates both lose a minute 29. In the green jersey competition, Groves edges a few points closer to Van Aert, and it being the final stage with 50 points on offer, at the finish, stage 5 will be a very important stage in the fight for the green jersey. In the fight for the Polkadot jersey then, it is Sylvain Monique who moves into the lead following his adventures in today's breakaway. Which brings us to stage 5, the only stage actually labelled as a full-on sprint stage of this year's Vuelta, with the final 25k being pancake flat. In total, there's only 1,700 meters of climbing over the 177k stage. Here's the stage shots at the time of recording, with Gross and Van Aert the main favorites. And here's the riders to watch in my book. Starting with our two main guys for the green jersey, Caden Gross and Wout Van Aert. Hajduk at Ineos and Baroncini at UAE. Aber Asturi, 7th and 3rd on stages 2 and 3 respectively, and finding a stage here that on paper suits him better than these two earlier stages. Dul at EF, Mikkel at Kern Pharma and Canal at Movistar. Corbin Strong at Israel Premier Tech, Pavel Bittner at TSM Firminich, Marit at Enter Marche and Kokar at Kofidis. Groves and Van Aert are my 4-star favorites for the stage. Aberastura and Marit get 3 stars. Strong, Bittner and Kokar get 2 stars. And Mikkel, Dul and Canal each get 1 star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm calling Groves for the win ahead of Van Aert and Aberasturi. Enjoy the stage and see you tomorrow for my stage 6 preview.